match with Barcelona. You buying that? I mean, anything's possible. I think they reported within context that it happened Thursday. I'm pretty sure it didn't happen Thursday because you're not going to be able to keep something like that under wraps when you go and you announce it to an entire uh, dressing room. But, I mean, whatever the case is, from Barcelona's perspective, they're certainly prepared. Um, I think there are people who are still hoping that he's going to change his mind. But, uh, you know, at this point, there's nothing Barcelona can really give him other than more affection. It's not going to be about, you know, yet another contract or more power or whatever. If he's made this decision, you know, Barcelona won before his arrival. They won while he was there. They'll win again once he's gone. You talk about affection. If it's going to be about affection, then it has to be the leadership of this team. It's got to be Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Gerard Pique that go to Neymar time and time again and beg Neymar to stay. Now, I don't know whether that's in play. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that will work. But I tell you what's not going to work. It's not Bartomeu talking to Neymar that is going to work. He's not going to get through him. So if you're a Barcelona fan, you're hoping that there is an upset here because the upset result would be for Neymar to stay right. at this point. Okay. There, there's another element to this, too. Mm -hmm. I, it's, you know, put sort of, you know, put, put the emotion aside. I don't think there's any sane person who believes that Neymar is actually worth 222 million euros. It's a quarter of a billion dollars. So if you're smart about it, and if you're Barcelona, you know what? We're it's a plan in the works that if Neymar is going to walk out the door, Barcelona has to have answers already. And I don't know that we can trust Barcelona to do that given the recent history, because the history of what we saw last season is guys like Andre Gomez that did not really pan out. We're not Barcelona players. Denis Suarez, is, is, is that the guy that is going to help you out? No, I just don't, don't think that Barcelona at this point, it, it just feels like they're in a transition period and they're not, they don't know whether they're coming or going. Meantime, Real Madrid is flying. Loading up. Flying. Loading up. They get rid of James Rodriguez and somehow they get stronger. Danny Ceballos, they pick him out of the U21 European Championship. You got Marco Asensio still coming up. Isco still part of this team. Talk of Kylian Mbappe coming in. All these names are coming in. Not many going out. It seems like Real Madrid is moving in one direction and Barcelona is kind of standing still. We just showed you the numbers, the most expensive transfers in history. This would almost double it. And yet one of our colleagues, Hercules Gomez, came out and said it was good business. It was a good deal. It was a bargain for PSG. How is that possible? I don't think it's a bargain for PSG, but by the same token, you know, PSG is in a very particular situation, right? So they have these very wealthy owners. They came in with these extremely ambitious plans. They spent a lot of money, but they really want to go to the next level. The next level means competing for Champions League. And they went, and it means that they're going out and they're getting the best player in the world that they can realistically get because Messi and Cristiano are not realistic. Um, and that puts them in the map in a big way. That's a big statement. On top of that, they evidently sold Neymar on their idea, on their project. I, I don't think it's just about money. I think it's, it's commercial. I think it's about growing the brand. I think that's a really big statement for them. In some ways, I don't think he's worth 222 million euros, but PSG can make it work, and I think it was important for them. Sometimes you need to overpay to, to get where you want to be. A bargain? Is that what Hercules said? That's what Hercules uh, said. Bargain, where, where, where is he shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look, Neymar, as Gab said, you could argue is the third best player in the world. Right. You're not going to go after Ronaldo because you can't get him. You're not going to go after Messi because you can't get him. So then you go after Neymar and then you're willing to open up and say, this is what we're going to pay. This is what it's going to cost. So be it. But if you are PSG, you better make sure that you have a balance to this team. Because it's great to have all these pieces and all the attacking talent and all the Brazilian players.
we do it down in Puerto Rico. I just wanna hear you screaming, ay bendito. I can go forever cuando esté contigo. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Pasito, 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 pasito.